Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us for this Twinkle Tips Friday. It's great to be back and on time for a Twinkle Tips for a Friday. And a huge thank you to the hospitality that was shown to me at both the Indianapolis Mini and the New York Mini. Uh, Larry and Bobby, they did a fantastic job at both events. It was a great time. I, I absolutely love going to the Minis and catching up with everybody, so it's a great time. But while I was at one of the Minis, one of the things that I uh, was reminded of was a simple fix that I don't think we talk enough about. And I wanna share with you exactly what happened to me and why we're talking about this in a video today. So let's go ahead and get started. Here, Oop, there we go. So you're looking at my house 2021 and you see on the right here, uh, you see the showstopper flake and you can clearly see the line here diagonally. And then you see the ice princess uh, uh, snowflake and clearly it's perfectly level. Now this is, this was, uh, there was an effect that was going across from bottom to top and you can see that some ding dong decided to hang his snowflake from showstopper there slightly the wrong way. Now, most people will say, Clyde, just get up on the roof there. It's easy. You can climb out there, take it off, pop it back on. No, it wasn't that easy. The way the mounts were built, I built them on a certain way and they were 3D printed mounts. It wasn't like I could just take them off and turn the mounts, you know, what, 30 or 40 or 50 degrees just to make it so that I put it the, the right way. No, it was too much work. And you can see like in the, in the video, we had snow that year and it, it was, it just wasn't easy. Uh, what did I do? I let it go. I, I, I pulled in Elsa and I let it go, what I, but I couldn't let it go for 2021. So this is what I did. This is what I did to fix it. And I'm going to share that with you because I think it's important because most people, the first thing they're going to think of uh, whenever they go in. So, you know, if you hang it the right way and you put the effect on it, you can see the effect travels from the bottom to the top, just like in the video there. Right. But what most people will say, well, I'll just grab this, select the model and just grab the handle and turn it the degree that you need it to. And then if you do that, you know, then that should work for you. you. You get your left and your right and your up and your down. But what happens if we do do that? You see, depending on what sequence you're using and who's sequencing for you, or if you're sequencing for yourself in a group, it might work really well, but for the most part, different sequencers are going to sequence different ways. And uh, I can tell you some of the render styles like scaled here, that's something I use a lot. Uh, that's not going to work very well for you and you're going to have to go in and change these to different render styles just to make things work for your layout. So the way I fixed it is this way and here's how I did it. Um, let's go ahead and put this back. We're going to go into the model data over here and we'll, we'll click on the uh, triple uh, box there well, for the dialogue and then we're just going to select inside here. We're going to right click and then we're going to rotate X. Now, I happen to know that in this model, it's a 90, it's a 30 degree angle. We're taking this 30 degrees and changing it. I'm pretty sure the showstopper snowflake was maybe 20 or 23 or something like that from in that use case. That's what I had to do. But we're just going to go in here and rotate by a positive, which is clockwise. Negative is counterclockwise. So you can do this either way. Um, but I'm going to just hit the number 30 in here and just watch this turn whenever I click the OK button. See how it turned now. So you can see that the, the center point is no longer the center point there. And it's this is the center point. As soon as we click OK, it updates the model preview. And now if we come back in here and we just re-render our effect, you can see that even though this snowflake tip is not at the top anymore, it's still rendering the effects correctly across your model. So guys, I hope that video kind of gives you a good idea where to start looking and working on adjusting your models if you should happen to hang them wrong and you're unable to just go up there and change it like people tell you. Like, I remember telling people that. I'm sorry I told you that because sometimes like you, it, like if you, if you have mountings on the back of it, you can't easily change those. So we can always use X slice to help us do that. So, and there you have it guys. Thank you for joining us. I hope this video was helpful, informative, and saved you a little bit of time and frustration in using X lights and kind of getting things to work the correct way for you. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the Twinkle Tips videos or our live webinar broadcasts or our other announcements that come onto the YouTube channel. 
And if you appreciate what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month. And we do one new to the store sequence. Well, we've been doing two new to the store sequences. There's two coming up for next month as well. So that's it for me here, guys. Thank you for joining me. This is Clyde signing out from Pixel Pro Displays. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.